Today on ECOT TV, we head to Junction City, Ohio to visit an ECOT student who is an accomplished digital artist. I'm fourth grader Nolita Palomar. Welcome to ECOT TV. Welcome back. We hope you had a great winter break. First this week, we meet an ECOT student who won an iPad at the family night and has now become a talented digital artist. Hey guys, it's Bijan for Say 100 here. Um, yeah, my desk is pretty messy. Yeah. I've been drawing a lot because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm going to be on ECOT TV! <laughs> I'm Lacey Graham, I'm an ECOT student and I'm 8th grade. I'm an artist so I draw pictures on my iPad and on paper. I got into drawing by watching videos on YouTube and my friend was drawing before me so I kind of got it off of her. I just started practicing and no one really taught me anything, I just taught myself how to draw and now I draw professionally. When Lacey was little, she was um, always very creative with her play. I can remember the very first time that she actually, she was very little, that she actually drew a face with chalk on the basketball court where it had a very wobbly face with eyes and nose and a mouth. I remember I was so proud as her mom. So that was her very first artwork that I remember. Um, but she's always been very creative and, and liked stories and everything. Usually I think of the story first and then I have to think of the character so the character really has to match the story. Then basically after I know the personality of the character I go into designing the character. Well the first time she showed me the artwork as it is now uh, was on her iPad and I looked at it and I thought oh, I don't think she really drew that herself and so I said wow that's really good and I was very doubtful so I said well, show me how you did that. So she says, okay. So I was kind of surprised again. She sat down with me and she actually showed me how she did that. So it was almost like she blossomed all at once with her artwork. Um, in my process of drawings, I start out with the black outlining. Then I move on to the second layer, which is the body coloring, which is everything except for the hair in the background. Then I move on to the hair, which is, I have to pick out the right coloring, and then I have to do the shading of the hair. Then the last layer is the background, where I design the background, and then I put my signature. Unicorn Wars is about three triplets that are born royal, and their names are Shimmer, Comet, and Lightning. Um, they discover that they're the chosen ones, or their parents do. It is an 18 chapter story. Feedback I get on Unicorn Wars is, Oh my gosh, so epic, or I love this, I can't wait till the next one comes out. <laughs> January 1st, at the beginning of the year, we uploaded the first trailer of it, and that got like over a thousand views. I think she's a deep thinker when it comes to fantasy and creativity. Um, I think she has many layers to her stories. I do have a lot of fans that check out my YouTube channel and I have my website that's on my YouTube channel. It's still amazing that she's on there and, and that many people are, are interested in it and, and comment on it and I'm proud of her for that. The thing I love about art is I love the way the pictures look and their poses and everything. Um, I just like that I created it. No one else did it. I'm the one that created it. I think she's going to follow that passion and I think she's going to do well in life, so I'm very excited for her. Watch your six! Chris, what you doing with the toys? And why did you tell me to dress like a World War II pilot? Dude, I told you we're gonna film a movie about the Tuskegee Airmen. Chris, you do know that George Lucas just made a movie about the Tuskegee Airmen called Red Tails, and it's out on DVD right now. 
So why don't we watch that instead of your movie? Okay, but can we still dress up? We sure can. Great! We will be watching Red Tails on January 24th at 6 p.m. at the ECOT main office. Not only will we have the movie, but we'll also have pizza, wings, and games. There are a limited number of spots for this event, so please sign up ASAP by going to the events page on the Acuity Homeroom tab. We hope to see you there! Last time on our question of the week, we asked, what is your resolution for the new year? Here are the winning responses. Aisha responded on Facebook and she said, my resolution for the new year is to be happy and not grumpy. I also want to explore the city I live in instead of being a couch potato. The second place response comes from Alexis on Facebook. My New Year's resolution is to cherish the little things and help out others more. Also, I want to have a good first year in college this fall. And the winning response was submitted by David on Acuity. And he says, my New Year's resolution is to meet new people. I want to make a lot of new friends and explore more of the outdoor life. Way to go, David, and thanks to everyone who submitted your responses. Now for the next question of the week. We want to know, what is your favorite board game? Winter is a great time to get out a board game and have fun with family and friends. So tell us what your favorite game is and why. You can respond on ecottv.com, Facebook, or send a message to ecottv in the message center. Next, we'll take a look at the ecott events calendar. On the midweek update this Thursday, be sure to watch ECOT TV for a special look at the recent ECOT parent-teacher conferences. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you then.